Mangawai is a seaside community just 90 minutes drive north of Auckland. The perfect excuse to drop the top on a snazzy new Holden Cascada and get the country breeze in your hair. Catherine, happy to ride shotgun while I take the wheel in our sexy new ride and see what this gorgeous holiday destination has to offer. First stop on our girls' golfing getaway is Mangawai Golf Club, where I find out a little more about a golfer flying the Kiwi flag on the ladies' European tour. You, my ball will be nowhere near yours, so I wouldn't worry about marking it. It's all right, this is special marking always on my balls. What are you doing? A little Kiwi. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, each one's unique because it's hand done. <laughs> you do it on the morning, every morning? Yeah, before each round, I'll do um, a sleeve of balls. Look at you. Yeah. Catherine Bristow grew up near Auckland's west coast, playing her junior golf at the Huapai Golf Club. Made that look very easy. Thank you. Very easy. So tell me about, you, you were relatively late, a late come when it came to golf. How did you first get into it? Yeah, I was about 13 when I started playing. My uh, brother, who's a year older than me, he was a junior at our local club. And as having two older brothers, I just copied everything they did. Growing up playing all sports anyway, it was just, I think it was natural for me to just try golf as well. Because you're a bit of a cricketer as well, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, all through teenage years as well. Played right up till last year of high school. Catherine first represented New Zealand in 2004 and led the Kiwi team at the 2008 Espirito Santo Trophy. During her amateur years, she picked up US College Scholarship, majoring in psychology. Was it just like the movies? <laughs> yeah, all frat houses and sororities. <laughs> no, um, it, it is a little bit, but not as they portray it. But um, yeah, I loved it. I went to the University of Oregon on the West Coast and it was amazing. I had four and a half years of basically full-time golf and full-time study. They look after you, anything that you need, they can get. I spent the whole four years of golf traveling around the US, playing different courses, meeting different people, eating lots of different food, which was great fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. After four years at the University of Oregon, Catherine played part-time on the LPGA Tour in 2010. She then won the Pennsylvania Classic on the Second Tier Symmetra Tour, collected a few more wins on the Australian LPGA Tour and is now on to her fourth season on the Ladies European Tour. So you're quite rare being a left-hander, aren't you, on the tour? Yes, I am very rare. Um, only one in Europe and uh, I don't think currently on the LPGA there's anyone. We were talking about cricket. You yeah. do one left-handed and, and... Yeah, bold left, batted right. Um, and same with like softball was right-handed, which I think people found odd, but tennis was left. So it was just a bit of, bit of everything. All right, well, why don't you hit this one with your left? Yeah. And then I'll let you borrow one of my clubs and you can show us what you do with your right. All right. All right, not bad. Good. All right, with your left, I expect that with your left. See what yes. you can do with your right. I'll, I'll swap you. We'll Enjoy see. that. Enjoy Thank that. You. Thanks a lot. Oh, good. Still better than me with both your left and right hand. No, that's good. No, you can okay. keep that. No, that's great. I told you eight arm was my favourite club. If Catherine can reclaim her spot as New Zealand number two, she'll qualify for the 60-strong field at the Olympics. But qualifying isn't enough for the New Zealand Olympic Committee to send Catherine to Rio. A place on the Kiwi team is reserved for those the NZOC believe who can medal or make the final. However, a golf tournament is a little different from most Olympic events. In order for the, the Olympic Committee to, to put you forward, you have to be a medal contention, right? But golf is, yeah. a, is, a, is a different kind of sport to a lot of that are at the Olympics. It's sort of like everyone is actually a medal contender, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it can be on the day or on the week. You see it all the time. Um, people that, you know, might be ranked 400 in the world come out and win the event and no one knows who they are. So it's, it's a lot different to something like swimming or track, you know, where it's, you know, who's going to run the fastest time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, but it's just about, for me, all I can do is work hard, try and play my best and, and see what happens. So that's, that's all I'm focusing on. Over the last few years, being ranked New Zealand's second best player behind Lydia Ko, Catherine has a unique perspective on the achievements by our most famous female golfer. Very nice. Very, very nice. What she's actually doing has never been done before. Not only in women's golf, but men's golf. 
and people don't quite get that. And I just hope that, you know, people really do appreciate it. And in the future, I think they'll look back and realise what a special talent she was and how she represents New Zealand so well, which is pretty amazing for someone so young. Ah, very nice. An unsurprising victory. I mean, I know who'd be shocked <laughs> to have won that one. Good game. Thank you. Now I've Thanks got a surprise a for you. Oh, excellent. After our round and feeling like I know what makes the girl from Ranui tick, it was time to see what other delights two girls in an open-top convertible could find in this sleepy little town known for its good food and wine. Something that is close to this girl's heart, and to be fair, most of us really, is chocolate. And Mangamai is home to the gorgeous chocolate house, Bennett's. What if I just sort of picked it up and put some in my mouth? Like, not like a piece like this. That'd break your teeth. There's no, can't put that in your back pocket. It's, I can't subtly leave with that, can I? A little bit of that. Yeah, put your pocket. He's coming. He's coming. And like a character from a Disney film, the fabulous Frenchman Remy was there to show us the sweet treats he makes every day. Good afternoon, everyone. So, I'm Remy. Nice to meet you guys. Today, with you, we're going to make some vanilla truffles. We just have a vanilla ganache here. Push, 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 push. Don't yeah. Move. Turn Stop. Around. And then turn around. That's it. See that oh, one? That one looks nice. It <laughs> looks nice. It's actually not bad. I'm optimistic. <laughs> yeah, it's better. That's better. Yes! <laughs> oh, my Lord. So now what we're going to do is just put that tray in the fridge for just a couple of minutes to make it set, and then we'll be able to roll them properly. Rustic. It's the fun part of the job. So now we're going to get some melted chocolate. <laughs> it sounds great. Roll them into the cocoa powder. Easy. It's just rustic, really. Nothing too flash. Mm -hmm. You don't want anything perfect. Let's give it a try and tell us what you think. That's fantastic. Wow. It's the best chocolate I have ever made. I'm taking full credit for those. Make another one? Sure. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> on a high from our chocolate treats, we took to the road looking to wrap up the day with a visit to the stunning Lockheel Vineyards. It was a chance for a glass of wine, a few nibbles, and to find out a little more about the allure of being a professional golfer. And I imagine for a, uh, a touring pro around Europe, this would be like an everyday thing for you after a round of golf? Uh, unfortunately <laughs> not. Maybe on Sundays. Maybe on Sundays. When you're celebrating, you know? After a, after a good week of golf, you might do something like this. Tell me about playing on the European Tour. What's it like? What do you love about it? I love the competition. I love pushing myself. You know, being in Europe, it's such an adventure, I think, because it's so far from New Zealand. It's just fantastic to go see different cultures and eat different food and then play amazing golf courses. It's like a big adventure, really, um, and I get to play golf while I'm doing it. So for me, it's, it's the perfect job. Cheers to you. Best of luck um, for this year. Fingers crossed for the Olympics, and thank you for the game of golf today. Thank you very much.